hello friends welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video friends in this video we are going to uh, discuss about woohoo.com plc i have already made a video on this if you can check this the stock has already risen by 20 percent from that level and there is a trend which has already been there so i basically i'm looking into the long term trend and the trend has already been there where it has near to its long term support level and it's uh, moving on the upper side of the range so if you want to check you just check my previous video and where i talked about the long term so here i'm going to talk about the short term trend and how it has shaped up so actually you can apply this trend for short as well as for intermediate trend because uh, this is for this is the weekly chart pattern so the way the stock has moved is uh, pretty big you know pretty big in the sense that if you can see here from 2000 here after the uh, march crash the stock has moved uh, around 190 to 100 percent again it fall back and again it is going up so it is showing an inherent trend but let me just tell you one thing that unless because uh, this is your monthly chart okay so if you look at the monthly chart if you look at the monthly chart what you can uh, see here so if you look at the monthly chart what you can see here that this level okay 400 and this one 441 or 43 this was your previous high so unless the stock moves and goes beyond 441 note new trend will start okay so i just uh, moved back from the weekly chart to the daily chart for much more clarity so here you what you need to do is this that unless the share price is saying that it want to go up and stay beyond 441 and 42 we are not going to you know thought and uh, think that it will it will happen sometimes so we have to take position accordingly no we are not going to do that so unless the stock moves beyond 440 441 and stays above that we can't think like this okay we can't think like this by our own so let the price settle above 440 and then we will say that okay the price breakout has happened and new trend has already started so for that what you need to understand is your support level so your support level will come at around 264 then 198 then 178 and further 133 so i'm not saying here that the stock price will go down will go down like this what i'm saying here is you need to look at the important support levels and where they lies so that you should have a fair bit of idea that where the stock is currently standing and what should be the next course of action for this particular stock okay and our first target or resistance will be at 339 and then 439 so again i am saying once it crosses our 439 then we are talking about the long term trend and and once it will cross 439 the trend breakout will happen so now the next question will come that what will happen after 439 okay that okay a breakout happens so what what next what should be the next target or next level we should watch for so for that what we are going to do is we just make a trend like this because the, it is it has acted like a resistance pre, in previous times one two three four four times so it is actually a trend so once it crosses our 440 so our next target will come at around or in between 475 to 5, triple five okay because we don't know how the price will move and what could be the probable trend of the price so our trend or the price movement 
that we are unaware can lead to anywhere in between this price zone so our price zone will be in between 475 to 555 that we have to look for if the price settle above 440 now for long term i have already made a video you can check out the long term targets where it is already available and these are for short term or intermediate term trend but let me tell you that the big trend is yet to happen and it is just the start of the big trend so be mindful of that okay so this is the end of the video if you like this content do share the thoughts in the comment section and subscribe my channel for this kind of content lastly take care of your family and friends